you checked out the AQI number on Tuesday morning during this smoky sunrise, there's a good chance that you got a different number than your next door neighbor did at the same time. One explanation is that AQI numbers can be calculated in different ways. For example, at noon on Tuesday, the EPA website airnow.gov showed a moderate AQI of 92 in Denver. The popular site iqair.com had a moderate AQI of 93. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment site showed a much higher AQI of 111, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. Well, these two sites use a type of AQI calculation called NowCast AQI, which is a great snapshot of current conditions, but it doesn't show your overall health impact because the EPA health standard for PM2.5 is a 24-hour exposure. The CDPHE number takes that into account. Two, three, four hours of clean air, that's going to make everything look rosy and good. Meanwhile, just 12 hours ago, you were breathing in some very, very polluted air. And PM 2.5 is going to take some time to work through your system. So having a 24-hour average is going to give you a better indication of some of those lingering health impacts. Air quality meteorologist Scott Landis says both numbers can help you make decisions about your health, but the best information is the CDPHE official forecast. We issue advisories. We issue alerts. So we want to let people know when those uh, PM 2.5 concentrations are increasing, give them a heads up ahead of time. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.